Legends, what's going on? Welcome to the Crypto Bits. This is an emergency video in relation to Luna. So sit down, get yourself in a dark room because you've really got to concentrate about what is going on with Luna. I'm getting a lot of messages saying Luna can go back to $100, right? The answer is a big fat no. In fact, I don't even think that Luna is going to reach $5 in the near future, okay? Some people are saying that Luna is a dead coin. I kind of have to agree with them right now. And I just want to give you a background into how Luna works very briefly. And then we'll have a look at the total supply and what's changed in relation to the total supply. So let's start with explaining or imagining how Luna works in relation to its economy. So imagine the whole Terra economy as two pools. One, for Terra and also one for Luna. To maintain the price of Terra, the Luna supply pool adds to or subtracts from the Terra supply. Users burn Luna to mint Terra and burn Terra to mint Luna, all incentivized by Protocol's algorithmic market module. It's worth noting that this is a conceptually different from regular stable coins like USDT or USDC that are backed by the fiat or fiat equivalents. So Terra or USDT and Luna, which is Luna, those are the two main tokens that the protocol consists of. So what does that mean? To make it easier to digest, imagine that the price of UST or Terra is currently $1.01. Users can then use the swap feature of the Terra station to trade one US dollar worth of Luna or one UST. The market would burn one USD of Luna and mint one UST. Users can then sell the one UST for one dollar and one cent, profiting one cent in the process. Now imagine the opposite. USD UST trades at 99 cent. Users are able to do the opposite swap one UST for one USD of Luna. The swap burns one UST and mints one USD of Luna. Users profit one cent from the swap. The bigger the difference to the peg is, the more profitable it would be. In theory, if the peg is lost and the price of UST crashes below one USD, then users can burn UST for Luna and sell at a greater profit. However, this also means that UST's market cap should be below that of Luna's because the opposite would mean that a hypothetical Terra bank run would disallow some users to be able to redeem $1 worth of UST for $1 worth of Luna. But in the past few days, all of this hypothesis has become reality. And the fact that Luna has now plummeted to a price of 2.5 cent just shows that how this ecosystem that was perfectly balanced has become massively unbalanced. So the stable coin has lost 99% of its value in the past few days. If we have a look at why I believe or why I know that Luna is never going to go back up to that $100. If I just open up the total supply for Luna, you have um, the circulating supply here, and then the total supply, this one, and then the difference. That is obviously the movement of the UST and Luna bouncing between each other, so it'll gain or it'll lose. And it's pretty stable. 736 million total supply. 352 circulating supply. And throughout Luna's life, that's kind of how it is sat. Pretty stable, in fact, and uh, shown you why Luna has done what it's done and the price has increased dramatically up to that $119. I think its all time high was. But what's happened is there's been a crash of that UST. <laughs> and now, the total supply is actually at 42.5 billion and the circulating supply of 33.941 billion. So in terms of a price comparison, going from 342 million 
to now a circulating supply of 33.9 billion proves that sadly Luna is never going to reach those $100 marks ever, ever again. Okay, in fact, you're probably looking at around Cardano's price if Luna can survive this. In terms of Cardano, if we have a look at Cardano, uh, where is the screen? Here it is. The circulating supply of Cardano is at 33.75 billion and the price right now is at 47.5 uh, cent. So team, <laughs> please do not get in your head that we're going to get that rise back up with Luna to the $100. It ain't going to happen, okay? Luna's got a lot of work to do and its reputation has been massively lost if you are putting trades into it now be extremely extremely cautious because you could lose all of your money um i feel sorry for those people that have lost a lot of money over the past few days and uh, just please be very very careful when it comes to luna okay and uh, that is it for today's video i'm going to restart the live stream for you so that we can have a chat about this video and uh, speak to you soon team peace